We had drama in the skies overnight as North Korea fired another ballistic missile, flew warplanes near the inter-Korean border, and sent around 170 artillery shots into buffer zones that were set up by Seoul and Pyongyang to reduce tensions. And South Korea has responded with its first unilateral sanctions against the North in nearly five years. After test firing long range strategic cruise missiles at dawn on Wednesday, North Korea returned to its pattern of ballistic missile launches following a recent flurry of seven such tests in just two weeks. Remember, the North's barred from ballistic missile testing under UN Security Council resolutions. Its latest launch involved a short range ballistic missile fired into the East Sea shortly before 2 a.m. Friday, according to South Korea's military. It apparently flew some 700 kilometers, reaching a hypersonic speed of about Mach 6. Later Friday morning, South Korea's foreign ministry said it strongly condemns the North's series of missile provocations of unprecedented frequency and introducing the use of tactical nukes against us. Along with the statement, Seoul put 15 North Korean individuals and 16 institutions on its blacklist in its first sanctions targeting Pyongyang's nuclear weapon ambitions since inter-Korean peace efforts kicked off in 2018. The people on the list include officials at shipping firms and organizations related to the North's missile program, as well as those involved in procuring supplies for weapons of mass destruction. Also Friday morning, South Korea's National Security Council condemned North Korea's other hostile acts, such as firing artillery within the maritime buffer zone in violation of an inter-Korean military agreement dating back to 2018. The council accused the North of using our regular and legitimate artillery drills as a pretext, saying South Korea will only strengthen its combined defense posture with the United States through field training exercises set to begin next week. They will likely further provoke North Korea, which also sent more than 10 warplanes on a course so close to the border that it prompted the South Korean Air Force to scramble F-35A stealth fighters and other assets to the scene. Whether or not this all leads to an expected North Korean nuclear test and further tensions, we're already in a situation where one misstep could trigger a disastrous conflict.